Today on the IoT Show, Mahesh is back. Mahesh from the uh, AI at the Edge team will tell us a bit more about this Vision AI Dev Kit. Uh, we'll see how the code works, how you can change the models working and running on that device to detect various objects, the ones that you want to detect. Hi everyone, thanks for watching the Internet of Things show. I'm Olivier, your host. Today we have Mahesh back on the IoT show to talk to us about the uh, Vision AI Dev Kit again. Mahesh, thanks for coming. Thank you, Olivia. So Mahesh, last time you came, we did a physical unboxing and first time experience with that Vision AI Dev Kit here. Today we're going to unbox the software that's running on it, right? Yes. So. Yes, so today we're going to uh, discuss how the camera runs your models yep. and we're going to train a model, deploy on the device and talk a lot about models and how you can take your ideas and experiment quickly okay. with the device. So last time we took the, the device out, we connected it to um, Azure IoT Hub by, by setting up its, its settings and then we put a, a basic model that is recognizing a bunch of objects uh, and, and we left it there where, where it sees these two guys here as bottles, right? Um, so it's it's written there. It's dining table. It's, yeah, dining ta table around, and it says bottles there, right? So perfect. Uh, and cannot differentiate. Yes. So as a developer, I'm here. I'm just like, Mahesh, this is not the same thing as that. Yes. Right. So what's gonna happen, like in the next few minutes, to make that happen? To make to make that like show that this is Coke and this is Pepsi. Yeah. So you got your camera, and we give you a model. You're happy with that. And you can see that now you are also sending messages back to IoT Edge, uh, back IoT Hub, yep. and you can see these messages coming to you. Okay, cool. Now the next thing anybody wants to have a camera, they want to try their own ideas, as you okay. said, and they want to distinguish these things as their own. Yep. So let's say you have this store and you want to say them distinguish them as Pepsi and Coke, yep. Bill People, or you want to see how many what you have in stock. Mm -hmm. So you want to train a model and deploy okay. it. Okay. For that, we have taken. We have integrated this with Custom Vision, okay. which is Microsoft service to train models without okay. any data science complexities. Okay. So let's try doing so that. I can do it. Oh. Okay. Yes. Even even I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think anybody can do it. Okay. Uh, I think any uh, anybody let's, in high, their high school can do that. Let's see what it takes. Yes. So we go to Custom Vision. Yep. And we start a new project. Okay. And uh, you can name it. I will name it IoT Show. Yep and we gave it its description. Here you select classification and object detection. The okay. camera does support classification and object detection okay. both. And uh, one thing that you need to be cognizant of is select general compact. Okay. That is for small devices. Okay. It does machine learning, but it is a small device. It runs on a battery. That's why general compact. The moment you select general compact, we give you the option of Vision AI Dev Kit. Oh, got it. Okay. And if you select Vision AI Dev Kit, you create a project. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. this is how you create a project for custom vision on this camera. Okay. And Vision AI Dev Kit is one of the things that we added to the service up there you know, as a potential target for that model, right? Yes, okay. so that you can deeply integrate and deploy okay. also. Okay. So I already did, so this is my uh, okay. project, and I took some pictures last night okay. from here, yeah. and I uploaded that. So one thing we're discussing is that when you, when you train a model, actually it's very important to do it in the context that you're going to have this camera installed. Because yes. the lighting and, and all of that actually is very important for the model to be trained correctly. Yes, training on the edge is the thing, and this is an edge device, and it yep. does machine learning on mm -hmm. the edge. So yep. training, you can take images, and it always refines your model. Yep. So I have images, you can see I uploaded, you, this is the tab, okay. you add, add images. And these are the images I had before, okay. and I just added these. Okay. Uh, you're looking at so around enrich, 35. You enrich an existing model, basically, yes. right? Okay. That's what I did. Love it. So how you do that is you just take the picture and you yeah. tag it as Coke. Okay. That's okay. what I did. Okay. And once I have it, you click this button called Train. Okay. Once you do that, this takes a while and okay. then gives you this model. So okay. now I have a model. And what you're going to do is you're going to click the Export button here. Uh -huh and it gives you option of Vision AI Dev Kit. Nice. You click that, you click Export, then you get the Download button. Uh -huh. You right click on that and you can basically take this link, this uh -huh. model right uh -huh. here, and send to your device. Yeah, because that binary is saved 
in Azure in your account. Yes. Right. Got it. Okay. So I'm gonna. What I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say copy link address, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna go to my IoT hub, okay. Edge, and my twin properties. Okay. Once I reach. Just yeah, just do it, and then we'll talk about exactly what happened there. Because like, yes. it will sound so like I magic just, voodoo science. I, right? I just saved that string. Okay. All I'm gonna do is save. Yeah. And at this point, it's sending the math. Uh, okay. the, this twin update to okay. the device. Yeah. Once it says successfully updated, what's happening and what's on the device is that we can keep looking at the stream at this yeah, point, yeah. and you see we already deployed yes. it. Pepsi it's Pepsi versus Coke. Yeah. Uh, I, yes, there you go. I like that. So uh -huh. now if you look in the messages also, yeah. we can look at uh, the Explorer and see what's coming in. And you can see it's sending Pepsi. L labels changed. Yeah, it's sending Pepsi and Coke and doesn't know anything else. It just knows Pepsi and Coke, and you can enhance it to recognize any objects, anything in your world. That's the magic. It's so no code. No code. No data science. Yes. Uh, like ex uh, you need not to know the network. Mm -hmm. You need not to know or tweak any of the parameters or hyperparameters, but you still have a model which works in your. So it's pretty straightforward. The kit itself now allows you to do very complex things with very simple tools. Yes. I love that a lot. So next thing I want to show you is, I showed you and you said magic. Yes. I want to show you logic behind that magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was about to say, hey, I want to scratch a little because it's yeah, uh, I know, you... almost too good to be true. Yes. Right. So what happened? So that URL yeah. gave us these four files. Okay. So it's still no code, right? It's still three files. What is there in these three files? That's let's uh -huh. just talk about that. Yeah, yeah. So these two files are basically do you want to switch to uh, presenting mode? Yeah. So okay. uh, the two files we have are basically your model. And yep. the model is converted to DLC, which is a format that Qualcomm understands. Okay. That, because we are running this with hardware acceleration mm -hmm. on the Qualcomm DSP. That's why it needs to be in that format. Okay. And we have Custom Vision already converted it. Your model, they trained mm -hmm. it yep. with TensorFlow or PyTorch and then uh, converted okay. it into their format. Okay. And, and this, is, this is why you had to specif specify uh, a specific um, target for your model when you were exporting, right? Because yes. there, is, there is stuff that needs to be optimized for that hardware, uh, for doing the hardware acceleration for that image uh, analytics, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, that's, what, uh, that's why this is a DLC format, mm -hmm. labels is labels, mm -hmm. and that's where the magic is. Th we designed the camera in a way that we take this config file from the mm -hmm. user, Okay. And then we generate the code behind the scenes. So you need not to write any code. So okay. the engine, basically, this is where you're specifying uh -huh. what is your framework? Is it okay. object detection or classification? Okay. What is your network? So we support any classification network. Okay. And for object detection, we have tested MobileNet, MobileNet SSD, SqueezeNet, and ShuffleNet. Okay, got so it. So these are the four networks that we tested. So use them if you're going yeah. object detection. Yeah, because you go we out of band, it's not tested. It could work, but like these four ones are, are guaranteed to work. And then we have the scale. Like this is like your pre-processing of the image. Okay. Uh, how that model was trained. Mm -hmm. This is where you are setting like, hey, if the confidence threshold of the device is not 60%, mm -hmm. then don't show the results. It's okay. only showing the results above 60%. And then your files, and then the input and output layer of your network. Okay. And Custom vision fills it for you, so that sounded like magic. Okay. Magic, But if you are going and putting your own model and mm. training somewhere, you need to fill these. Okay. So be aware of these. Got it. That's it. And after that, it's a simple REST API interaction between the camera and your application. Okay. So that's the container we deployed AI Vision Dev Kit. Mm -hmm. And what it does is, first thing it does is it take, copies these files on the device. Yeah. So we got the files. Mm -hmm. Second thing it does is, it connects the camera, gives okay. you a handle back. Okay. And then what you do is you set preview on. Mm -hmm. That's the first REST API call okay. you make to, make to the camera. Mm -hmm. What it does to you is it starts sending an RTSP stream. Okay. So you can just take the stream and do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. It sends the output to HDMI. Yeah. So now you can hook an HDMI cable and you can okay. see the same stream out. Yeah, yeah. And also it takes the frames and starts sending to an ML engine mm -hmm. for doing machine learning. Okay. So right now there's no machine learning. At this point, you can just have the camera. Okay. So you can do your own models also. The next step is you send set analytics on. Okay. That starts the machine learning engine on the device okay. and starts sending you results. Okay. That's pretty much 
all the magic behind the camera. Nice. But just configuration file, we deliver that module. Uh, it's actually available as well in open source, right? So if people want to look at that module's code, they can go in depth in there. Right? Yes. So this all is published on our GitHub. The okay. code is there. Okay. And uh, uh, all these calls we have is also, we also s publish the SDK. Okay. So let me quickly walk you through the SDK. Yep. So that's our SDK. This comes from our GitHub. So uh -huh. camera SDK. And if you go to index.html, So if you open the index.html there, it lands you here at Qualcomm's SDK. Okay. And you can see the tutorials here. It explains everything we just discussed. Mm -hmm. And you can start doing the tutorial. And that's all the code, basically, that we, what, what, you, what we saw. This is in nice. Python. Basically, camera preview on, mm -hmm. analytics. And in 20 lines of code, you will have your model running and sending results back. Awesome, Mahesh. Um, you just made something that looks like voodoo magic. Pretty straightforward and clear. Yeah, I think it's everybody. <laughs> so I think there's more to discover from that little camera here, right? So I know you'll be coming back again. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to learn more um, about what's happening in terms of vision, uh, AI at the edge, you can join the community. There's a short link for that, aka.ms slash IoT show slash AI edge community uh, so that you can see the various projects that are out there. You can engage with your peers. Uh, Mahesh is down there. The whole team is down there. Yeah. Uh, so you can enjoy your dev kit as well as all these modules that uh, Vision AI provides. Mahesh, thanks a lot. Thank you, Olivia. Thanks Thank for you. watching the IoT show, and uh, see you soon.